Public Works Committee dated July 26, Thursday, 2018. Roll call. Cassie, yes, Mr. Amstrad? Here. Mr. Andrew Collins? Here. Mr. Paulins? Here. Mr. Paulins? Here. Mr. Landry is out of town on business this evening. Mr. Latour? Here. Ms. Mayo? Here. Vice Chairman McMillan? Here. Mr. Scott? Here. Mrs. Trimmy? Here. Mr. White? Here. And Chairman Brennan? Here. Okay. You do have a quorum. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. We'll go to item three. Receive Thank report you. from Margaret Harris, Entergy with reference to storm preparedness and positive area projects. Ms. Harris. Thank you, jurors, for the opportunity to speak tonight and staff. Um, I'm Margaret Harris. I'm your new interface for the parish for Entergy, and it's my pleasure to have that role. Uh, Ron Childress retired from Entergy, and then we had an interim plan where Calvin Thibodeau covered. Pull the mic down. No problem. So tonight I wanted to just let you know that we are ready for storm season at Entergy. Like the parish, we prepare for the worst and we always hope for the best. And we have dedicated resources who work for us year round in the, those preparation roles. And so um, in May, we did our storm drill, which is a basically statewide, company-wide event where we actually put into effect a drill and those who normally have a very different role within the company move into that role to ensure that we have sort of a seamless move with what it takes for people to move into those uh, positions. So we, like you, are hoping that we have a great year and we don't have to deal with um, what it takes to recover from a major hurricane or a major event. So just for a, a moment, I'd like to cover a few things. Uh, we look at, um, we try to tell the public prior to a large event, if it looks like we're in the cone of the landfall, what restoration might look like in terms of electrical restoration with the different category events. Of course, every storm has its own nuances, so it's very hard to predict. But on a category one, we estimate that the majority of folks who take service would be back up in about seven days, two, ten days, a category three, two weeks, a category four, three weeks, and we hope to not see a category five or any of that beyond three weeks. So in the first three days or so after the aftermath of a large event, uh, we go into a mode that might appear to be a little less visible to some of your constituents in that we're assessing the damages so that we make sure that we have the right materials available. And at the same time, we are looking at our power plants for how they are feeding into our grid system and what our generating system ties together such that if we have damages at our Nelson plant in this area or Calcasieu, that we hopefully, if we have line uh, availability, would be able to have power flowing in from another region. So that's being looked at. And then we move on down the line to our substations, transmission lines, and restoration of power along the roadways to the commercial businesses and residences. So it takes a whole army of folks, as you know, in a big event. So one of the things we also do, and we work with um, entities in the community on, is finding staging locations to house our um, workers, contract workers, employees, et cetera, so that they can get in a good night's rest and be fed and be ready for um, long work hours. If, if you've ever been to one of those sites during one of these events, you might have some appreciation for what, what it takes to um, leverage uh, that many employees to do the work. So we're ready in that area too, and we have um, an agreement to make use of work call CM and we thank you for that. So we ask our customers and you as individuals to be prepared, have your own plan, um, teach your children and your grandchildren to be ready. We have a lot of tools available at Entergy, say that we didn't have that during Rita or Ike during those big events. So we have a lot of information online at our storm center. We have an excellent app for everyday use um, that I strongly suggest that you go to energy.com and out download that app. You can actually report a lot of things to us over the app 
and you can also see maybe during just a little thunderstorm in the area um, or a weather system, you can view where the outages are and then you can look at the counts in the parish or in the state. It's a very good tool. Have any of you utilized that view outage? Any comments related to it? Uh, I have the app on my phone. So I use pretty it. easy to use? Uh, yeah, pretty easy. I've good. only had to use it once. That's a good thing. <laughs> That's a good yeah. thing. I suggest you give it a try. So there's a lot of information out there today to help people stay informed and to assist you. And this is just a brief little look at how you can uh, zoom in, you know, the view outage starts at a broad level and you can zoom down and it'll give you various options. Um, we also utilize social media today uh, to put out information. Um, that doesn't really take place so much on a local level as it does at a, a broader level for us, but we're looking at some different avenues in the way of social media since that's such a great tool in today's market. Um, and I can tell you that our workers, when they're in the situation where they're having to work really long hours and respond to tough events, uh, appreciate the positive messages that they see over social media. So our core value, number one, above everything else, is the safety of the public and our employees. Um, and in the aftermath of the storm, um, that becomes a very big concern for us, and we don't want to do anything to sacrifice the safety of anyone. So sometimes that causes some delays in, um, in recovery uh, because there are some jobs that may take a larger crew than others, um, and we, report, we definitely encourage the public to report things that they <coughs> see to us. So my message basically, to, basically today to you is that we are storm ready. Um, Dietrich Taylor, who's one of my coworkers, will be in the Office of Homeland Security and Emergency of Preparedness, and he and I are going by to visit uh, Dick and his team in a week or so, um, and just have a visit with them. Dietrich did a great job for us there in the past, and then if he needs additional resources, um, we will definitely provide those. Um, this is unrelated to hurricane season. Do any of you have questions related to storm season? Whether it's hurricane, flooding, you know, whatever type. We do have event. a few jurors that like to speak, but we'll just wait till you finish, I guess. Yeah. With questions? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. You Go right ahead. No, we'll wait. We'll, I'm through with the storm part. We'll wait part. till you're done. I'm through with the storm part. Okay. All right. Um, I wanted to. Uh, make reference to a couple of large projects that we're doing in this area because as a result of all the growth that we've had in Entergy um, and with all the growth in the industries and the commercial business here it's led to opportunities for us to upgrade our infrastructure that ultimately will be good for all our constituents in this area so we built out a really large Lake Charles transmission project um, it basically is moving the 500 kV um, further down south on our system and uh, that is tying into a new substation called Patton which is just west of the West Cal Event Center and then we're also this is very technical you can talk to me afterwards this diagram um, we're also uh, we've also finished a new line from that substation into our major bulk station called Carlos, which is north of Highway 108 off of Areno Road. And we're in the process of finishing up a brand new line that crosses over uh, the river. We're replacing the existing line that was the river crossing. And we hope to have that entire project completed at the end of August. Um, and it will provide us a new line into South Lake Charles which is at Solak Substation, Ham Reed, and Lake Street. So the, the project is good for the whole area for our bulk system. And then we're also building out multiple new area load substations. One's being energized, um, the feeder's in about a week off of Swisco Road. We have another one that'll be under construction, in construction in Iowa, and finished in summer 2019. Um, another one in the Carlos area that we hope to finish <coughs> April 2020, and we're upgrading one uh, that will help us in the south part of Carlos 
and on into Cameron Parish called Allender. And so we have several other substation upgrade projects, and these are really going to give us a lot more options in the field to restore power more quickly. And much of it is a result of our growth. So we're grateful to have the opportunity to build out additional infrastructure, and it's not intended to be at the expense of anybody, but actually to add to reliability of our system for our existing customers and aid our new customers. Any questions? I just tried to thank, breeze th through. Yeah, thank you, Ms. Harris. Uh, good report and good information, and uh, hopefully we don't have a storm this year. Uh, Mr. Andropont. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Foremost, congratulations <coughs> on your promotion. <laughs> and secondly, thank you for being here. And now sure. I think the, the issues that you bring to the table <coughs> are important for the public to know what's going on. I wonder, what, I've never met Calvin Thibodeau, but I had the occasion of visiting with him over the phone over this issue was the, in District 13. And actually, he was fixing to leave on vacation like tomorrow, and I spoke with him today. But y'all have obviously a good continuity because he said, I'm leaving, but give me the number of the party that I need to talk to and I'll get all the things and they've got taken care of and I don't know who the other guy is that he visited with. But uh, it, what I want to do is congratulate y'all for being on top of it. Y'all you, were spot on on the decision and got it taken care of. So it speaks Thank highly you, of not only you, but uh, the corporation as well. So Thank you, Mr. Andrew. You got it. Thank you, Mr. Andrew. Mr. McMillan. Yeah, Margaret, thanks for all you do. Uh, the number of years that you've been in the interview, you've always been a go-to person, and that's very important for us as elected officials, and you always bail us out and take good care of us. And, and guys, if you don't know her, get her number because uh, Margaret can help you if you have any type of energy problems. Mm -hmm. Calvin does a wonderful job, but having you in your job position is going to be great for all of us. Uh, I do have the energy app. It's, it's uh, really nice to have during a, a storm outage. It'll give you the times of when it looks like you're going to be back on, how many people are out, and all that kind of stuff. So that's important to download also. I had the opportunity to work with you and Energy during hurricanes. I just want to say the great job that y'all do. This pre-staging and, and pre-practice events that y'all are doing now really means a lot when we do have a, a hurricane, and, and it really helps us. Not only that, but I know y'all work with the other local electrical companies, as well as the people that y'all bring in from out of state uh, all over to help us in, in y'all stage. I know that we also helped y'all with kind of having Burton Coliseum as a, as a staging place when we were going through some of these storms. So however I feel is however this jury can work with you to work with energy to help get uh, the electricity back on after an event, we're going to be there for you also and appreciate what you do. Thank you, and I want to thank, thank you for Mr. the Chair. partnership that I feel we've experienced over the years. Um, it's, um, I think, exemplary for others, the way we can partner together to make a situation that's challenging to overcome that situation and, and put, put the number one priorities at the top. So we appreciate it. I was here during Rita, and I have been at Entergy a long time. <laughs> and so... Uh, and we do have a good team in customer service, and I'm proud to work for a company that invests in the communities we serve. We live here. We want it to be a great community, and we appreciate what the parish does and their investments that they've made in, you know, infrastructure improvements and um, putting your constituents first. Uh, thank, thank you, Mr. McMillan. Mr. Farnham. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Chairman. Margaret, we've had to, I've had the pleasure of working with you over the past couple of decades or so through uh, the industry relations with uh, Power Grid and, and those type of things. But I tell you, um, I encourage all of y'all to get a phone number because somehow before you get off the phone with you, it's done. I don't know how you do it. Oh, if you got a magic a phone order. in the other pocket or something, but most of the time uh, it's done before you can even bat an eye. So. Thank you for all you've done and, and in this new role. Congratulations, and Thank we look you. forward to working with you in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Barnum. Any Thank other received report? Second. Oh, go ahead, Mr. Yeah. Chairman. The only thing I really want to say is, yes, Energy does a great job, but you also do a great job working with CLECO, which, is, which serves the De Quincey area, mm -hmm. but Energy serves Starks. And, and when things happen, you see a camaraderie of teams of people that are restoring power that are actually helping each other and working together. So I want to 
let you know that how much I appreciate that also. Thank you. The so working much. together with other companies to get because you're trying to help the people, and wherever it's happening, it gets fixed. So thank you. Thank you. We consider ourselves a service provider yes. for sure. Thank you. And I will email my contact information to each of you. Will that work? Yes. That will I'll work. send it as an Outlook contact, yeah. and you'll have my you'll have my contact information. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was Thank my you. pleasure. Okay. Uh, we have a motion to receive a report from Mr. White and a second by Mr. Guidry. Is there any discussion? Any opposition? Hearing none, that motion will carry. We'll go to item four, consideration Move of four. approving second. a cooperative endeavor agreement between the police jury and the city of Lake Charles to overlay Smith Road between South Park Drive and Gerstner Memorial yeah. Drive in Ward 3. I have a motion by Mr. Scott and a second by President Barris. Is there any discussion? Yep. Go ahead, Mr. Scott. Is it 50-50? Is that what we're talking about? 75-30? What's the John Bruce is here. I'm hoping he can answer that. I don't know. John? We pay our percentage. They pay theirs. Is that? No. I just don't know the percentage off the top of my head. 70-30. <laughs> what are you? John Bruce, Capture Parish Engineering. I was reading ahead, and I'm afraid I don't know what the question is. <laughs> the Smith Road Project, a cooperative endeavor. Uh, what's the percentage of cities and parishes, and who's going to run the project? Can I get back with you on that? Sure. Thank you. That works. Any other questions? <laughs> you good, Dennis? Sure. Okay. Any other discussion? Any objection? Hearing none, that motion will carry. Item five, consideration of approving so an act of sale agreement for the Patton Street Bridge replacement project in Ward 4. Have a motion by Mr. Hornum, a second by President Barris. Any discussion? Any objection? Hearing none, that motion will carry. Item six, consideration approving expropriation Move. of property Move. for the six. Jones Road second. and Park Road improvement project in Ward 1. Have a motion by Mr. White and a second by Mr. Latour. Is there any discussion? Any objection? Hearing none, that motion will carry. Item seven, consideration of adopting an ordinance Move and seven, or amending seven. existing ordinances, establishing a 35 mile an hour speed limit on Parish Road in Ward 7. Have a motion by President Barris, second by Mr. Collins. Is there any discussion? Any objection? Hearing none, that motion will carry. Item A, consideration of authorizing the parish engineer to advertise for Calcasieu Parish Project number 2018-13. Move on eight. Second. Uh, Ross, 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 Ross and Nagel. Ross and Nagel. Okay, road bridge replacement project. We have a motion by Ms. Anderpont and a second by Mr. Abshire. Is there any discussion? Any objection? Hearing none, that motion will carry. Item nine, consideration of accepting the following subdivisions. Move on nine, both bullets. Second. Red, uh, A, Redmark Estate, phase two subdivision located off Highway 90 West in Ward four. B, Wisteria Vine, phase three subdivision located off UN Road in Ward one. We have a motion by Mr. White uh, on all bullets and a second by Mr. Guidry. Is there any discussion? Any objection? Hearing none, that motion carries. Up item 10, any other matters for consideration? To adjourn. Second. We have a motion and a second to adjourn. We so moved. Adjourn. to order the agenda committee.
meeting. Uh, the purpose of today's committee meeting is to formulate an agenda for the regular meeting of the police jury on August 2nd, 2018. I need a motion and a second to pull so item number second. 16. I have a motion by Mr. Fordham to pull item 16 and a second by Mr. Gidry. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. Item 16. Take appropriate action on the terms of the following members of various boards and districts. Item 8, Industrial Development Board of Calcasieu Parish, Mr. Otray Woods. Move to, to reappoint Mr. Otray Woods. Second. I have a motion by Mr. Entrepont to appoint Mr. Otray Woods. Reappoint. To, I'm sorry, reappoint Mr. Otray Woods. Sorry. And Junior. And a second by Mr. Latour. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. B, Quality Assurance Review Panel for Ambulance Service. Fire Chief Danny Dupree. Move to appoint Mr. Joseph Scott. Second. Lewis. Move to appoint Fire Chief Joseph Scooter Lewis. I have a motion by Mr. Calvin Collins to appoint Fire Chief Joseph Lewis, Joseph Scooter Lewis, and a second by Mr. White. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. C. Community Center and Playground District Number Four of Ward One. Move to Mr. William Mr. Bill, Bill L. Willis. Williams. Second. I have a motion by Mr. White to appoint Mr. William Bill L. Willis and a second by Mr. Collins. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. D. Waterworks Move to reappoint Ms. Teresa Bell. Second. Ms. Teresa Bell. Move to reappoint Ms. Teresa Bell. I have a motion by Mr. Fordham to reappoint. Sorry. Motion by Mr. by President Bears to reappoint Ms. Teresa Bell and second by Mr. Foreman. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. E. Calcasieu Cameron Move Hospital to reappoint Mr. Robertson, Robert, Robert, Robert Davidson and Mr. Frank Robert Davidson. <clears throat> I have a motion by Mr. Andrepont to appoint Mr. Robert Davidson and a second by Mr. McMillan to reappoint. Sorry. Number two, Mr. Frank LaBarber. I have a motion by. Move to reappoint, Mr. Second. I have a motion by Mr. McMillan to reappoint Mr. Frank LaBarber and a second by Mr. Mac Mr. Gidry. One of those days. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. F. Gravity Drainage District number four of Ward three. Mr. Bill Miller. Re move to reappoint Mr. Second. Miller. I have a motion. <coughs> Mr. Collins. A motion by Mr. Brain to reappoint Mr. Bill Miller and a second by Mr. Collins. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. Number two, F two, move Mr. To Donnie Green. Mr. Donnie Green. I have Second. a motion by Mr. Brain to reappoint Mr. Donnie Green and a second by Mr. Collins. <coughs> Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. G, Gravity Drainage District number eight of Ward one. Number Move one, Mr. Mr. David Brian, Brian Gidry. Gidry. Second. I have a motion by Mr. White to reappoint Mr. David Brian Gidry <coughs> and a second by Mr. Collins. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. G2, Mr. Move Terry to Barrett. Mr. Terry Barrett. Second. I have a motion by Mr. White to reappoint Mr. Terry Barry and a second by Mr. Collins. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. H, Gravity Drainage District number nine, Ward two, Primo. number one, second. Mr. David Primo. I have a motion by Mr. Latour to reappoint Mr. David Primo and a second by Mr. Guillory. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. H2, Mr. Mr. F. F. Jason Vester. Jason Vester. I have a motion by Mr. Latour to reappoint, mm -hmm. reappoint Mr. F. J. Sylvester. And a second by Mr. Collins. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. I, Ward 4, Move Fire to reappoint Mr. John Sonier. One, Mr. Second. John Sonier. I have a motion by Mr. Underpont to appoint, reappoint. Mr. John Sonier 
and a second by Ms. Trimming. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. Move to report, Mr. Joe Mr. McMillan. Joe McMillan. Second. I have a motion by Mr. Ford. Second. I'm sorry, Mr. Andrew Park to reappoint Mr. Joe McMillan. And a second by Mr. Ford. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. I need a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Very good. A motion and a second to adjourn. <laughs>